Well, Michelle, who do we have here? So we got Clyde here. <laughs> Hello, Clyde. Clyde the corn snake. Oh. So Clyde is not on display here, but he is used behind the scenes with a lot of our preschoolers, um, nature day campers too. Um, and so this is the hands-on snake that often, like if kids want to hold a snake, this is the snake that we're using. Okay. So he's the puppy dog of snakes. Oh, wow. And so, yep, Ooh. we're just going to support his body here. Okay. He's a little cold. Yes, so he, he might is. actually like you. Like in yeah, my heat. Like my warm. Yep. All right. And so he's going to slither around. He's <laughs> smelling too. Look at that. Yeah. So what's unique about Clyde? I love his color. Yeah. So corn snakes are, um, they don't eat corn. Oh. Uh, <laughs> but because of the coloring that they kind of look corn colored a little oh, bit. Sure. And often they're uh, found by corn fields because their main prey item is mice and rats. Oh. And so um, not a snake that's found here in Michigan, but southern United States, definitely very common species and common in the pet trade too. Wow. This was someone's pet at some point. Oh, wow. And so um, he ended up in my house for a little bit and then ah. came here to the nature center to be one of our live animal ambassadors. No wonder he's looking you right in the face because he's like, I know who you are. Yeah. A lot of people ask us also, the, the number one question is, is it going to bite me? Uh, which you didn't ask. <laughs> well, is he going to bite me now that you said it? And my favorite answer is to say, you know, do you smell like dead rats and mice? No, you don't. I'm standing next to you. You don't. Um, but as long as you don't smell like their food, um, that they're not going to confuse you for... Ah. Yep. Okay, Clyde, where are you going? There yep. you go. There you go. And his scales on the bottom are very unique, too. Yeah, we can kind of show the flip side here. Okay. But he's got kind of a checker pattern a little yeah. bit. Oh, wow. And he's almost got, like, iridescent. He must have just shed because he's very brightly colored right now. So... How often does he shed? Um, oh, don't go up my shirt here. <laughs> um, young snakes, they shed more often because they're growing. Okay. Um, adult snakes, it's pretty much kind of replacement and general care of their scales. So every few months or so that they'll shed, and they shed in one big piece, which is really cool to come in and see there's a giant piece of there. <laughs> yeah, and how often does he eat? Once a week. Once a week? Oh yeah. my. So we tell people, like, if we ate like snakes, it would be eating a watermelon-sized meal oh. in one bite. And then you wouldn't eat until the following week. Well, thank you, Clyde. It's nice to meet you. Yeah. <laughs> Good old Clyde. Yeah. All right. Well, tell people how they can learn more about the upcoming event and all your workshops and the things you do with kids. Yep. So uh, you can, um, of course, come here to the Nature Center um, and view this display. Uh, our website is ChippewaNatureCenter.org. You can like us on Facebook and Instagram, too. Um, for the Live Snakes event, because that is a partner program with Saginaw County Parks, um, I don't don't know Saginaw County Parks website off, but I'm sure a Google search with Saginaw County Parks, Snakes Alive will get you all the details. Uh, but it is Saturday, November 9th at 11 a.m. and it is at the Freeland Sports Zone. And so Clyde will be there. All right, well, make sure y'all go see Clyde. <laughs> I can help save you. <laughs> now he's climbing through my hair. <laughs> all right, Clyde. Thank you. That was fun, Clyde. Nice to meet you. <laughs>